fields of material science, Mayo Kaku has, in reality, affirmed that the James Webb Space Telescope has seen six enormous structures that experts thought couldn't exist. These evaluations have the potential to open up new viewpoints in how we might interpret the universe. The disclosure is both engaging and moderate, testing existing speculation about the improvement and progression of universes. It is, therefore, worth watching out for these updates. The affirmation by such a recognized expert highlights the significance of these divulgences. Mayo Kaku is a striking figure in the logical field, a physicist of American and Japanese legacy. He is seen as a master in both conventional exploratory material science and quantum mechanics. Dissimilar to some more moderate and questionable experts, Kaku has been open to the unbelievable ramifications of the James Webb Space Telescope mission. His energy to embrace new revelations and share them with the general public accentuates his obligation to pushing our comprehension of the universe. We are satisfied that this recognized trained professional has chosen to end his silence and straightforwardly share what can no longer be denied. The fervor and almost connected tone of the notable physicist are apparent in his remarks on the revelations made by the James Webb Space Telescope, showing that this has been a feature that has blended his interest. Join us in exploring the repercussions of Mayo Kaku's disclosures concerning six gigantic structures. Kaku is a sign researcher who has consistently had the option to consider new speculations. Throughout his life, he has shown a responsiveness to thoughts that test the norm, recognizing that Einstein's hypotheses of relativity and Newton's regulations, while principle, are failing to fully capture the intricacies of the universe. Kaku understands that the revelations of the new telescope can potentially enhance the scholarly field, yet a large number of his partners have not embraced this view. This has caused concern and restlessness among the Big Bang backers and rivals of quantum mechanics. However, this just incites laughter from Kaku. The JWST has uncovered the presence of six huge astronomical systems tracing back to the earliest seasons of the universe. Each of these gigantic structures contains more stars than our own Milky Way, despite having formed only 200 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. The group of room experts who made the revelation has named these sensational systems Universe Breakers, since, if confirmed, they would change our whole comprehension of the universe. The ramifications of these exposures are huge, suggesting that the universe's initial years were considerably more powerful and complex than recently figured. Something doesn't fit here any longer. The speculation of how things came to be tells us that the universe was a tumultuous mass after the beginning event. The principal strong items expected an enormous number of years to structure, and it took endless extra years for the items to reach adequate thickness and produce light. The type of intricate designs, for example, systems, was believed to happen much later. A portion of the recently tracked down universes surpasses the Milky Way in size, and their tremendous brilliance suggests that they were likely forming many new stars each year, while our system structures stars only sporadically. It remains unclear precisely when the first universe formed. Scientists have not been able to determine this up to this point. The only thing that is clear is that initially, there may have been only single stars or groups of stars, which ultimately coalesced to form progressively larger structures until dwarf universes fostered. The little, inestimable structures experienced different designs and continuously advanced, going against past theories that coordinated and huge universes couldn't have existed at that time, which raises the question of whether the universe is much older than recently recognized or whether complex vast plans grew altogether sooner. This present circumstance is challenging to acknowledge for standard science, which still struggles with this model. A few parts of material science unequivocally refuse to acknowledge this disclosure and question potential mistakes in the age estimates. Kaku is aware of this and had this to say, there are different models of old and deceptive hypotheses that determinately continue due to the influence of specific experts. Many of these hypotheses were perhaps disproven when critical investigations uncovered their defects. Thus, the major word in any science, particularly in physical science, rests within the experimentalists who keep scientists ready and mindful. Where indeed, on Earth, we have barely any knowledge into the bona fide starting points of the universe. This explanation from Kaku highlights the significance of consistent trial and error, as well as validation, in the logical process. The speculation of how things came to be was spread out in 1927 in light of perceptions of the development of the universe. 
This data led to the conclusion that the universe began from a solitary point and has been expanding from that point onward. At the time, it was hard for individuals and researchers to envision a universe with a start and an end. The thought of a universe that had always existed and was boundless was, in general, beyond individuals' imagination. Without a doubt, even today, researchers still face challenges in figuring it out. However, it is essential to consider these conceivable outcomes. Even these new disclosures do not fit with what scientists have been positing for quite a while in regards to the speculation of the Big Bang. Regardless, science has reliably shown that reassessment and receptiveness to novel thoughts are a major piece of the logical interaction, similar to the certification of explicit speculations and perceptions. When Einstein was a youngster, the fact that the stars and planets were solidly fixed in the universe and these specific plans consumed a characterized space. However, we now realize that everything in the universe is moving. Planets circle stars, move within their universes at various kilometers each second, and whole cosmic systems move quickly through the universe, the destiny of which we can't yet even anticipate. This new comprehension of the universe challenges long-held convictions and highlights the need for ceaseless request and change in logical thought. Today, researchers are challenged to acknowledge awkward pieces of understanding and to grasp that speculations are not absolute insights until they are fully tested or affirmed by exact observation. The chance of the Big Bang emerged from the acknowledgement that cosmic systems are getting away from each other, and this distance is relative to their detachment from Earth. This perception, known as Hubble's regulation, proposed that the universe was growing. For quite a while, Components such as the cosmic microwave background radiation and the redshift of light from far-off worlds, alongside other cosmological patterns, appear to support this theory. However, recalling that is fundamental. Previously, individuals who believed the Earth was flat and that the Sun rotated around us likewise had observational evidence for their questions until occasions or mechanical headways came along that provided a clearer picture. Right now, we are seeing a comparable circumstance. Researchers expected the new James Webb Space Telescope to insist the doubts connected with the Big Bang. However, rather, they have run over these six worlds that appeared impossible. This shows that science is ceaselessly advancing and that specialists should be present to new revelations and rethink existing speculations in light of the available proof. The alarming disclosures challenge current understanding and incite a reassessment of well-established cosmological theory. Scientists use redshift as a tool to determine certain amounts in the investigation of the universe. Redshift, also called the Doppler effect, refers to the adjustment of the variety of light as light sources and observers move relative to each other. To understand this, you can imagine standing still and seeing a vehicle coming toward you. As the vehicle moves toward you, you hear the motor getting stronger. However, when the vehicle passes you or moves away, the motor sound changes. This is because the sound fluctuates as the vehicle moves. The same is true for light. When a light source, for example, a far-off star, moves toward us, the light we see shifts toward bluer tones. Alternately, when the light source escapes from us, the light moves toward redder tones. This peculiarity is called redshift. Physicists have changed over redshift values into speeds and distances for measurement in the investigation of the universe. However, it is important to note that even a little blunder in these estimations can have huge results. The estimation procedures recently utilized are now under review. The latest revelations connected with our universe require consideration of whether they are really founded on redshift blunders or whether some researchers are simply denying the realities. This is an inquiry that requires careful examination and cautious review of the information and techniques used in the research. The current examination and reassessment of estimation procedures feature the developing nature of logical request. Much obliged for watching the video. As continuously, we remind you that you can post your inquiries in the comments box. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to raise a ruckus around the town like button, share it so it reaches more individuals, and subscribe to the feed so you don't miss more content like this. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. This source of inspiration enables watchers to engage with the content, empowering a community of inquisitive minds eager to explore and grasp the latest logical discussions. The assessment of our universe, with its huge breadths and complex heavenly bodies, continues to interest and challenge researchers across the globe. 
From early speculations about the universe to the most recent disclosures made conceivable by cutting-edge innovation, each revelation reshapes how we comprehend the universe and stretches the limits of human knowledge. One of the most critical and enduring requests in cosmology revolves around the beginning and advancement of cosmic systems. Galaxies are like urban communities of stars, gas, dust, and dark matter bound together by gravity. Figuring out how galaxies form and develop is indispensable not just for disentangling the mysteries of our universe but also for certifying or testing existing speculation, such as the hypothesis of the universe's starting point. The hypothesis of the Big Bang, proposed almost a century ago, suggests that the universe began from a solitary, limitlessly thick point and has been expanding from that point onward. This thought emerged from observations of the universe's expansion and the cosmic microwave background radiation which are viewed as the leftovers of the early universe's outrageous intensity and light. However, ongoing disclosures, especially those made by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, have tested several key suppositions fundamental to the Big Bang hypothesis. The JWST, with its extraordinary awareness and resolution, has identified galaxies that appear significantly larger and further developed than anticipated for their age. One such disclosure involves six enormous systems tracing all the way back to when the universe was simply 200 to 700 million years old, a mere flicker in its 13.8 billion year history. These cosmic systems, named universe breakers by the research team, challenge traditional understanding since they are already so large and bright at such an early vast stage. The revelation of these cosmic systems raises intriguing questions about the rapid advancement of the early universe and challenges existing models of galaxy development. According to prevailing theories, galaxies form steadily over billions of years through the merging of smaller structures and the accumulation of gas and stars. The presence of these large systems so early in cosmic history suggests a more complicated and potentially quicker cycle of galaxy development than previously suspected. Additionally, the revelation highlights the significant role of mechanical progressions in reshaping our comprehension of the universe. The JWST's capacity to peer further into space and catch faint light from far-off galaxies has permitted astronomers to unveil previously undetectable parts of the universe's early development. These perceptions provide valuable insights into the circumstances and cycles that governed galaxy formation during the universe's earliest stages. The ramifications of these revelations extend beyond the realm of astrophysics. They challenge researchers to return to and refine existing cosmological models to better represent the noticed variety and intricacy of galaxies across cosmic time. They also highlight the dynamic and evolving nature of scientific knowledge, where new discoveries can prompt paradigm shifts and open new avenues for exploration. As researchers proceed to examine and interpret the data from the JWST and other observatories, the investigation of galaxy development remains a dynamic and developing field of research. Each new revelation brings us closer to unraveling the mysteries of our cosmic beginnings and grasping the essential cycles that have shaped the universe as we know it today. Septed. In conclusion, while the disclosure of these six tremendous cosmic systems challenges our current understanding of galaxy formation and the early universe, it also represents a critical milestone in our quest to unlock the universe's secrets by pushing the limits of scientific knowledge. Such revelations pave the way for future breakthroughs and expand our curiosity about the vast and complex tapestry of the universe. Mayo Kaku, famous for his contributions to material science, has recently made intriguing claims regarding the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. According to him, this telescope has identified six huge cosmic systems that were previously believed to be impossible. These revelations could potentially alter how we interpret the universe, as they challenge existing speculations about galaxy formation and advancement. The ramifications of these discoveries are significant, suggesting that the early universe was undeniably more complex and dynamic than previously Akaku, a physicist of both American and Japanese descent, is respected in both traditional exploratory material science and quantum mechanics. His receptiveness to embracing new disclosures separates him from some of his more reserved peers, who may be reluctant to acknowledge the revolutionary ramifications of the JWST discoveries. Kaku's enthusiasm to share these disclosures accentuates his commitment to advancing how we interpret the universe. The universes found by the JWST, referred to as universe breakers, date back to just a short time after the Big Bang. 
Each of these cosmic systems contains more stars than our own Milky Way, raising questions about how such enormous designs could form so rapidly in the universe's history. This challenges the long-held belief that galaxies developed steadily over billions of years through the merging of smaller designs and the accumulation of gas and stars. The significance of these disclosures cannot be exaggerated. If confirmed, they would demonstrate that the early universe was capable of producing large galaxies significantly sooner than previously thought. This suggests a more complex and possibly quicker cycle of galaxy development, which could reshape our understanding of astronomical advancement. The presence of these huge systems challenges the prevailing theories that maintain galaxies required billions of years to form, thus pushing the limits of our current cosmological models. Kaku also highlights the importance of continuous trial and error and validation in the scientific process. He emphasizes that researchers should remain open to new ideas, as the history of science is filled with instances where established theories were overturned by new evidence. The revelations made by the JWST serve as a reminder of the evolving nature of scientific inquiry. Additionally, these discoveries highlight the essential role of technological advancements in expanding our understanding of the universe. The JWST's exceptional ability to capture faint light from distant galaxies allows researchers to uncover details that were previously unreachable. This capability has provided insights into the circumstances and cycles that governed galaxy formation during the universe's early stages. As researchers continue to analyze the data from the JWST and other observatories, they face the challenge of accommodating these new discoveries with existing theories. The ongoing inquiry into galaxy formation remains a dynamic field where each revelation contributes to a deeper understanding of our cosmic origins. The disclosures from the JWST prompt a reevaluation of well established cosmological models as they challenge the assumptions that have guided researchers for decades. Scientists now must grapple with the possibility that the universe is more intricate and its history more complex than previously recognized. This evolving understanding fosters a culture of inquiry where new revelations can lead to paradigm shifts in how we view the universe. Overall, the discovery of these six enormous systems not only challenges our current knowledge, but also marks a significant step forward in the quest to unravel the mysteries of the universe. The energy and commitment of researchers like Kaku highlight the excitement that accompanies new discoveries as they inspire further exploration and inquiry into the vast tapestry of the universe. This ongoing journey of discovery is vital for advancing our understanding of the universe and underscores the importance of remaining open to new possibilities. As researchers delve deeper into the implications of these discoveries, they pave the way for future breakthroughs that could reshape our understanding of the universe and its origins. Mayo Kaku has recently highlighted the intriguing findings from the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, which has identified six enormous galaxies that challenge our current understanding of the universe's formation. These galaxies, referred to as universe breakers, were formed just 200 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, a period thought to be too early for such large structures to exist. Each of these galaxies contains more stars than the Milky Way, prompting researchers to reconsider how galaxies could form so rapidly in the early universe. Kaku, a physicist with expertise in both traditional and quantum mechanics, emphasizes the excitement of these discoveries. He argues that the existence of these massive galaxies suggests a more complex and dynamic early universe than previously believed. Traditional theories posited that galaxies formed gradually over billions of years through the merging of smaller structures. But the presence of these large galaxies challenges that timeline, implying a quicker and more intricate process of galaxy formation. This revelation is significant not just for astrophysics but also for the broader field of cosmology, as it raises questions about the assumptions underpinning the Big Bang theory. The prevailing idea has been that the universe started from a singular, infinitely dense point and has been expanding since. Kaku notes that the JWST's findings could indicate that the universe is older or more complex than we have recognized, forcing scientists to reassess long-standing models.